welcome back or welcome to my youtube channel so for today's video i'm really excited i'm going to be doing a back to school school haul so i went to a couple of different places i went to wh smith wilco they're basically the main places but then other shops as well so i've got like literally everything to show you i can show you like my school shoes my bag my supplies literally everything to be honest so i think i'll start off by showing you what i got from wh smith because this is probably like the best stuff probably i don't know literally what do i even start with do you know what i mean i think i'll start by showing you my pencil case now i know it's not very acceptable for a year 11 to have a pencil case however as it's year 11 like you got to kind of you know knuckle down a bit i don't know i think i'm a sophomore i think i'm in 10th grade so yeah i'm in 10th grade a sophomore which obviously oh my god year 11 so yeah i got a pencil case this is obviously from dh smith this was 7.99 which i reckon is just like a normal price for a pencil case obviously i didn't want anything too like abstract it's basically a clear pencil case and then it's got like this like flower pink like flower lace kind of detail in but then it is plastic like it's not like actual like lace in a way it's also got a gold zip and also though what i like about it is that the plastic is really like flimsy which i think is good it means it can actually like stretch a lot and like get actually like a lot of things in it to be honest i don't really actually use my pencil case because i just like keep my pens in my blazer and stuff however you still kind of need one because i don't have like all my pens in my blazer just like a couple of essentials you know i mean my friends said it looked like it's a tablecloth that she put on a nana's table but i actually like it to be honest so i don't know the next thing i got is actually some highlighters now this is definitely an unpopular opinion i reckon but i actually way prefer neon highlighters to pastel like i used to 100 pick pastel over neon but now i genuinely prefer neon like towards the end of year 10 i was always just using like neon if i was gonna use a highlighter i think neon's prettier personally like only some colors you know what i mean like i wouldn't use like the blue neon one you know because like in the I don't want to speak to you, no offence. Oh, look, I've got a receipt. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I'm really confusing myself. These are from Wilco's, actually. Basically, I've not actually got a Wilco bag. I just put everything in the WH Smith bag, so now I'm really confused, actually. These are from Wilco. Sorry about that, guys. We'll carry on from the stuff from WH Smith, then. So, I also actually got some of these Polly Pocket things, which are, like these things that you put in like your folders and stuff because i think these are really handy because otherwise you're just like loose sheets and then you get like crumpled and stuff but anyway yeah so i just got some of these yeah you just got a hundred the next thing i got was some glue sticks these are you get five mini ones and they're like actually really really cute and mini five mini ones personally is better the reason why i got these is because like the school glue sticks are genuinely disgusting like usually i do actually use the, glue, the school glue sticks because i never really actually have a glue stick but they're a bit disgusting like, they've got like hair on them and everything like ugh. whoa i found my door keys in there also i've actually got this which is the helix cambridge mask set thing to be honest i think i'm ever gonna use this ever but i don't even know what's in it to be honest mom just got it me so oh okay so you get like the triangles a, one of these i think this is a protractor or a compass i don't know it looks like this oh it's dropping things out of it now it is also blue but i don't really care so yeah it just looks like this in this like tin thing i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna take this to school but if you don't ever use it i know sometimes we do use like these and like the one that draws circles there's also like a ruler in here so it is handy but i won't use the majority of it but i'm not taking this to school the next stuff is now going to be from wilco so not the witch myth anymore so i got a tipex this is the tipex pen because oh my god what how did i just say that oh my god <laughs> no basically i literally make so many mistakes so many mistakes just got to erase my mistakes with my tipex this is just really handy i think and actually a lot of people always ask me if they can like borrow it i also got some pens these are the zebra ones they just like this they're the rose gold ones and you get three i think these are like two pound or something i don't know these personally are the best pens for me to write in i think they write really smoothly and everything these ones and also the other pens that i've got which are actually from a shop called kenji just these two i think personally like these are actually quite embarrassing pens i can't lie because obviously they've got like basically if you don't know what they are i'll show you up close what they are so it's like a pen and it's got 
a saying on it and then like this thing at the top it's basically like an angel and then it says on it lovely angels no i think that's really embarrassing personally so what i do though is i just pull off the top bit and then pull off the animal thing and then it's basically a normal pen with a weird saying on it. Because I don't like buy them with like the characters and stuff on top. I think that's really weird. No, to be honest, like, I don't think it's weird. I just wouldn't personally go around high school in year 11 with like an angel on top of my pen. Do you know what I mean? Because they're like gel pens, like they're really fine. But yeah, these are my favourite pens of all the time. And then the zebra ones. If you highlight over these and they're like smudged. So that's why the zebra ones are better for that. Oh, I also just got this pen, which is one of those ones which is like a few different colours. This now is from Asda. This stuff I'm going to show you. These are basically revision cards. They look like this. I got three. So yeah yellow blue and pink so i was thinking i could have like one for each subject maybe i have so many revision cards i can't lie they're all blank but i do like how they're like in a ring because then say if this is like all geography shall we say like just the job is each shut up okay so that's basically that but these folders now these folders i actually got like towards the end of year 10 so i could like put all of my stuff in it i mean i didn't actually really revise literally ever in year 10 so i don't really know how i've actually got so much stuff but i think like from lockdown work and everything i kind of put that in these actually yeah that's probably what it's all from and then also obviously we did our year 10 mocks so i have got a bit of revision from those that i've also put in it binders are from wh smith so i'll show you which ones i got so i got this pink thick one and this one I'm using for English because it's like one of your course work. Actually, the back of this, I have actually got this really cool thing, which is like um, all those post-it notes and everything. And then I've also got another thick one, which this one is blue. And this is actually really nice. It's like a baby blue, the same sort of thing. And I've also got then two thin ones. This one, which is like mint green. I've actually just stuck on that label. It says geography. These like the size difference. And also this skinny one, which is like very pale lilac. That's all my folders. I think that's like all the stationary kind of back to school kind of things. But I'm also gonna show you like my school shoes in my bag. First though, I want to interrupt this video to talk about today's video sponsor, which is by the brand Cuddly, which I've actually got on my bed right now. I don't know if you can see this. I've actually got what they gifted me on my bed right now because I love it. But yeah, I'm going to talk a bit about that now. Okay, so I'm just popping it in today's video to talk about today's video sponsor, which is kindly sponsored by Cuddly. This is actually my second time working with the brand Cuddly, which clearly shows that I love the brand. They've actually gifted me a cooling weighted blanket. So last time I got some really good sliders from them. It comes in this like dust bag, I think they're called that. So it's all packaged up inside here. I've not actually opened it yet. I think they do two different colours, I think. And I got mine in the whitey grey colour. But obviously I'll show you on the website what it looks like now. Honestly, it's so heavy. Obviously that's because it's all in a ball now. When it's like roll up, it'll be like a nice heavy. I've just lowered the camera angle a little bit so you can see it better. It's hard for me to keep on holding it up because it is genuinely so heavy this is actually 48 by 78 and it is 4.7 kilograms i will actually be doing a workout whilst i sleep i don't know if i'm a bit stupid but i feel like it just makes you feel a bit secure and protected if you've got sort of like a weight on you but maybe i'm just weird obviously it cools you because it is like a thin material it's not like thick and fluffy but you can also just get a normal one um which is like fluffy and nice and warming but obviously this is like a cooling one i got quite hot in bed it's actually this really nice pattern like this i'll show you properly in a second but i can tell i'm going to use this so much and it's literally going to be my go-to thing on the website they do so many other things so they do the sliders like i was talking about they do like the big you know, like the hoodie things but they're not hoodies they're like a blanket in a hoodie they do obviously a cotton waist blanket a waist blanket they do literally so many different things i think they do more things as well the brand is also quite affordable to be honest everything that i've had from their website i love so i'm sure everything on there you'll love too you know i don't recommend anything that is bad so i really recommend getting yourself on the cuddly website i'll leave a link in the description i'll also quickly now show you guys what it looks like um like on my bed so it just looks like this on your bed obviously depending on what color depends on how it'll match your room and stuff but this matches my room perfectly this white clothes obviously my bedding is white so this literally matches perfectly and it looks amazing and it's actually like really soft as well i don't know what material it is but if i find 
find out then i'll put it on the screen of course it looks really nice so yeah definitely definitely go purchase one of these blankets for yourself and then also if you get white we'll be matching goodbye so now i'm going to show you guys my shoes for bag i'm going to do a what's my year 11 bag you'll see the bag i'm actually going to use in that video but i'll just show you this bag anyway this is from new look and it just looks like this to be honest like i actually like the bag however it's massive like it kind of looks on here like a normal kind of school bag but then when i put it on me i have quite like a small frame if you get me and this bag just looks massive. I don't know, like, do you know what I mean? Or am I just being pathetic? So if I can't find any other bag, then I will, I guess, have to use this one. My shoes are from Clark's, which that's where I get my shoes from every year. I've never got them from anywhere else. To be honest though, I don't really like them. I really don't really like them. I wanted to get slip-ons because like last year I had like, you know, the T shoes and then like a buckle but i had those last year and i actually really like them they still fit me i just wanted new ones because they look a bit worse for wear but yeah anyway so i wanted to get brogues like slip on brogues but they were so uncomfy you know like where you just like get new school shoes and it takes like a bit of time to adjust to them it wasn't that it was like they were genuinely just really uncomfortable so instead i just got some normal like ballerina slip-ons i think that's what they're called but I don't really know if I like them though because they have got a bow on them. And I don't know if that's like a bit kiddie. Do you know what I mean? But also I feel like no one's going to look at my feet. And if they are then that's a bit weird. This is obviously the stuffing that's still in it. But they just look like this. I don't really know how, how am I feeling about these. Can you please like actually tell me. And what kind of other shoes do you really get though? Otherwise there isn't actually that many different shoes. Whoa did you see that little like swept away moment? So yeah, anyway, that is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below any other video ideas you want me to do. And if you enjoyed this one, also comment down below when you're going back to school. I don't actually know when I'm going back to school, which is a problem. On my Instagram as well, which is on the screen now. And I'll see you guys in a brand new video next week. Bye.